Hi there, it's Ian from Grip Tape here. I'm going to take you through a flow today that I've built to fulfill a use case which is quite common in the advertising industry, the creation of an image-based storyboard for a potential video shoot. Uh, I'm using Runway's image generation models for this particular example, mainly because they're really good at using reference images as input. So you can get one, one image, take one image, and use that as the basis to create a new image with similar style or with the same characters in it. I found Runway's models particularly effective for that, so I'm using the Runway ML library here. And what I'm going to create here, again, taking some inspiration from Runway actually, is a storyboard for an advert which advertises holidays uh, in the Scottish Highlands, hiking holidays in the Sc Scottish Highlands, which is something that Runway themselves use for one of their examples. They do theirs using chat. I thought I would build something similar using grip tape nodes and our flow based editor. So if we go over to the first node that you can see here in the top left of this canvas, uh, you'll see that I have a text input node here, a sketch storyboard style, black and white image of a man hiking in hiking gear, looking out over the Scottish Highlands. It should be a medium shot profile image of a man. And I'm using runways text to image model here with our runway ML node to generate that image. Uh, and from that, which I'm happy with actually, I then used the create reference image node and I use that reference image in quite a few other nodes. The first one is a text to image node with this close up of the man's face in the same art style as the prompt. And we feed in that reference image that we generated over here. And that creates this image that you can see here. And then I use that image as a reference image. And then another runway ML text to image node, node with the prompt, another close up of this man's face now smiling in the same style and art direction. And I get this output here, which I think is pretty nice. Reusing that same reference image over here of, of the hiker, the original reference image that we created, I have a Scottish Highland cow looking directly into the camera same art style and direction which gives us this image and then uh, i'm really happy with the style here so i'm gonna do something a little bit more advanced now i'm going to create a text list that you can see over here with several different prompts in it i'm going to use a for each start node and a for each end node that you can see here and here uh, and then i'm going to use with these nodes, by the way, what happens is we're going to get an, iter an iterator. So each item that I provide in my input list to this for each start node is going to trigger this for each item. It'll take the item that it has in that list, just that single list item at that index, and send it out of this current item output here. And I can merge that using this merge text node together with the suffix with the same art style and art direction. And I can feed that into another runway ML text to image node in combination with that original reference image. So what we get here is an iterator that runs that text to image node with this concatenated prompt with each one of these different inputs. And you can see the first one is here. Uh, so the last one is here, a wide, just expand that a little bit, a wide of a campsite with a single tent on the edge of a lake that gets concatenated with the same st art style and art direction that reference image is added and then this node is run and that happens for each one of these different inputs in the list ultimately outputting another list and that's the list of images that you see here so we've got those five iterations and you can see the five input prompts that we're using over here to generate those and then I take all of my images and I want to create an ordered list to build my storyboard. So slot my images into a new list in the right sequencing that I want them to appear in in my storyboard. And I have a display list node here so I can simply see the images that I'm creating in output from each one of my prompts in order. And then lastly, I have this special node here, this storyboard node. I didn't have this yesterday when I started this project, but I vibe coded this node yesterday using cursor and Claude code it took me about 40 minutes to create this node and what this node does is it generates another image uh, which is configurable so it takes a list of images as input you can specify the background color the number of columns the padding and the image output size that you want and it nicely places the images that we have in our list into this grid bullet base format in another output image and just to wrap up the video I will expand that and show you what kind of output we got
Thanks for watching this. If you're interested in more advanced uh, node examples like this one, stay tuned. We'll have a few more coming over the coming weeks.